Hello everyone, Tom Baron here, and I wanted to announce the Bilches Festival, or actually to be more exact, the fact that I'll be a commentator there, together with woman GM Dina Belinkaya. Oh, thank goodness I'm not organizing tournaments. <laughs> Three days before the event I decided to make the video. Okay, so tournament will be held between July 20th and July 31st, which will include a classical tournament, a rapid tournament and a blitz tournament and a various other cool things that are referred to as tournaments but it's hard to follow so um there are three types of general tournaments that are classical the gmt which is the grandmaster tournament which is a closed event with eight players then there's the master tournament which is an open event above 2000 feeder rating then there is the main tournament which is a classical tournament below 2050 rating with uh, quite a hefty prize fund and uh, also some almost decent commentary that will be done by yours truly so let's go about the over the players from the gmt we have sam shankland from the us we have satosh vidit from india jorge kori from peru peter leko from hungary Parham Maksudlu from Iran, Nodir Bek Abdusatorov from Uzbekistan, Sebastian Bogner from Germany, which is somehow written Deutschland here, Nico Gerardi, Switzerland, local, even though Sebastian Bogner also re uh, represents Switzerland, uh, since 2013 at least. Okay, so let's go over the players a little bit. Uh, excuse me if I mispronounce any of the names. So, Sam Shankland from the USA, 27 years old, rated 27-13, uh, became the US champion in 2018, and he surpassed players like Karwana, Nakamura, Wesley So, and a bunch of other strong players. Uh, and he also won the gold medal in the Olympiad for his uh, performance on board. I don't remember, but I will mention it in a specific video for Sammy. He had so many achievements, it's hard to recall all of them. And I uh, will do a specific video about each of the players, uh, including uh, best move and one quality that at least I learned from their games or some of their appearances. Uh, in some cases, uh, personal encounters. So, second, Grandmaster Santosh Vidit from India. Number three in India, which in itself doesn't sound like uh, much compared to a champion of the USA or so on. However, India has 1.4 almost, yeah, 1.3 something uh, billion people. And let's not forget that Anand is number one and Hare Krishna is number two. And they are quite strong. So being uh, number three in India with a rating of 2703 at the age of 24 is slightly impressive to say the least. So I will mention more about Vidit in the specified video. Jorge Cori, or George, as I heard some people pronounce it, but I think Jorge might be the, the precise way. I remember also that he's, he has uh, an additional like, middle name, uh, Thelo, or, or some addition to, to the last name. I am not familiar with names that much so and how it works. But anyways, 2686 from Peru. <laughs> That's really high only 23 years old, so young, yet so high rated and talented and uh, I can say a lot of things about him but I even got a chance to play once and I'll just mention that more details will be mentioned in the specific video besides his chess olympiad uh, gold medal which seems to be <laughs> you know like they're giving them away <laughs> with the players here but no these are good players Petr Liko from Hungary uh, needs no introduction uh, do it in anyways 39 years old 2674 which sounds so low for this legendary player and uh, he's from Hungary as I mentioned and the runner-up in the world championship who was leading against Kramnik I'll mention it in the specific video because there's so much to say and yeah he's an admirable uh, player and a chess personality in my opinion at least and also from our personal encounters like with many others here I'll talk about it in the specific video Parham Maksudlu from Iran 18 years old the reigning world champion uh, under 20 
and uh, one of the most talented players in the world and uh, I enjoyed watching his games a lot more details on the specific video no dear back Abdus Satorov from Uzbekistan 14 years old uh, but almost touching 2600 with a uh, mind-boggling rating of 2598 the second player in history to achieve the GM title after Sergei Karyakin and uh, that's quite impressive so more details in the specific video Sebastian Bogner from Germany who represents Switzerland as I probably tried to mention <laughs> earlier and uh, once again I have some personal things to share because uh, with the two local players from Switzerland uh, I had some personal encounters and uh, we I'd like to to think of us as friends and uh, the reigning Swiss champion in 2018 and he participated in the Olympia 2008 and 2010 which is quite long time ago given the fact that he's only 28 years old so at the age of 18 he already represented Germany in the Olympiad that's impressive and uh, he was a uh, quite a young grandmaster if I remember correctly and uh, Nico Georgiadis from Switzerland 23 years old 25 14 rated and um, well there's so much I can say about Nico uh, but I'll keep it for the specific video where I show uh, one move of his that I really enjoyed seeing and the quality just like I will say about each player uh, it's going to be hard to pick only one but uh, stay tuned for the video to to see it and I'll just mention what uh, you can read here is that uh, not only that Nico participated uh, in Bill uh, in the closed tournament twice before in 2017 and 18 but he had a winning position against Carlsen last year which was so uh, impressive at least for me to, to watch live and so uh, painful as a friend to to see and it was definitely an unforgettable experience and I'll just mention that the way he dealt with it uh, was inspiring for me so uh, all the players here have tremendous fighting spirit and uh, will to improve now the details of the tournament in case people want to follow which I assume that's what I'm here for so there will be rounds on a daily basis starting from the 22nd of July until the 31st of July with an exception uh, at the 26th of July which is a rest day and on the 27th there is going to be a blitz tournament uh, and I'll explain more details after I mentioned that on the 21st there's gonna be a rapid tournament uh, between the eight players in this closed event the classical uh, tournament has seven rounds as it is mentioned here then they get reversed colors in the rapid which is also seven games which means they balance the whites and blacks so if one player has four whites uh, four white games uh, in a classical then they get four black games in the rapid and vice versa and the blitz is 14 games two games against each player with both colors so um, classical time control it's gonna be a lot of time you can read it if you have a, any problem understanding what it means then I'll just say that it's uh, quite a lot of time and games can go up to seven maybe even eight hours in some cases uh, I didn't really bother calculating but it feels like it 140 sorry an hour and 40 plus 50 minutes plus 20 minutes plus 30 seconds for every move from the beginning of the game uh, I feel like calculating 170 minutes is already almost three hours then if they play 120 moves it could I mean, it's almost three hours for each. Yeah, it can easily get to seven hours uh, if a uh, game surpasses move 60. And I'm going to have to commentate from beginning to end together with Dina. Good luck to us. Um, schedule. That's just the hours. You can read it yourselves, my dear friends. And uh, if you just Google Bill Chess Festival or look at the link in the description, you'll find this website which is very informative surprisingly informative to my taste I really like it and uh, once again reminds me how lucky the world is for not having me as a chess organizer so 
Um, classical games, three points for a win, one point for a draw, zero points for a loss. Rapid games, two points for a win, one point for a draw, zero points for a loss. Blitz, one point for a win, half a point for a draw, zero points for a loss. Notice that one point for a draw, both in the classical and in the rapid, which I find interesting because uh, I think the organizers are trying to minimize uh, players going for safety and fighting for the win, which is more rewarding. Uh, because on average, if you win and lose, you get a point and a half, which is better than two draws. No? Wait. Yeah, yeah. Average of point and a half is better than average of one. Yeah, yeah. My math is flawless in this case. So, let's have a look at something more interesting than these details. But before I forget, I'll mention that the place is the main stage of the concert hall, the Bill Congress Chess Center, which was not so easy to find on Google Maps. But if you just write Bill Congress Center or Bill Congress, you have chances to succeed. Uh, I think I managed eventually. And the main arbiter is Laurent Freind. I hope I probably... No, I, I didn't pronounce it well, but excuse me. Yeah, I'll do it with half of the names available. So, let's have a look at the um, schedule of the Master Tournament. Nah, I want to see just who, who signed up. Participation. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where is it? Register players. That's what I wanted. Alright. Have a look at this glorious list of players. A look at the ratings. Woo! Top 30 players are 25, 18 and above. That's insane. Uh, so... Impressive. Oh my goodness. This is such a strong tournament. I almost feel like, uh, you know, FOMO, fear of missing out from <laughs> the fact that I'm a commentator and I cannot play. In fact, in fact, earlier this year I decided that uh, if I don't uh, receive conditions from my chess federation or nor from the uh, organizers, which I usually don't because I write very late and email, uh, then I will play uh, at my own expense because it's such a good tournament. And then I was offered to be a commentator, which is both exciting and scary uh, because I haven't done it before. So let's move on. Tournament, rapid tournament will take place. There's an open rapid tournament, there's a closed one. So I mentioned the closed one. The open one is going to take place in 21st uh, in parallel to the closed rapid event. The prices are very high and people can see more details here. I think the website is so informative. The, it's ridiculous. Uh, there are a lot of details as you can see. Schedule, news, tournaments, media, history, partners which is probably sponsors. You can even pick languages between German, French and English. Which is a nice choice. Sometimes you can have to choose between like Russian, Latvian, and uh, Estonian or something. And uh, yeah, happened to me once. Uh, so yeah, no complaints, but still wasn't easy. So here, I think that I covered more or less everything that I wanted to cover. Um, and uh, let's just talk about the other tournaments that exist. Yeah, there is a Rapid and a Blitz which will take place uh, in the one day before the tournament and during the free day, respectively. And there is a Rapid Fisher Random Tournament, a Youth Tournament, a Physician's Tournament, which I'm curious to hear what it is, Simultaneous Tournament, and a Youth Rapid Team Tournament. So this is a real chess festival. It's not just, uh, you know, play on words. It's, it's just an actual festival with a lot of chess and a lot of people gathering and I'm very happy to be a part of it. And let's have a look at the homepage again. While well, I mentioned that I'm very honored to to be a commentator. By the way, my name is Tal Baron. If uh, it wasn't clear by now, I uh, earned the Grandmaster title once before, and since then I've been played really badly. 
uh, and still managed to maintain some rating. I will be commentating together with Woman Grandmaster Dina Berlinkaya and I'm very excited uh, towards our collaboration because we are friends in real life and it's going to be fun and I'm looking forward to some interaction with the chat. Uh, it starts in five days from now or no actually four days from now whoa well, I think I have to start packing so thank you all very much for watching and uh, looking forward to the tournament uh, stay tuned and videos about each of the players of the GMT coming up see you